Hearn Spur track runs from the lower Wanagato Valley all the way up to the Wombat Range track. It's allegedly one of the steepest tracks in the Victorian high country. There are a total of six river crossings on Hearn Spur track, uh, which is coming up here on number one. Uh, they're all fairly straightforward, not, not much deeper than wheel height most places. Uh, this one you've got to be a little bit careful, you can see there's a rock ledge across the river to the right there. If you did take a direct line you'd probably end up banging your, your front right wheel and getting a good kick left. Uh, all the entries and exits along the uh, river are fairly straightforward, nothing, nothing sort of um, to give anyone too much drama. Here's the second crossing on Hernspur track. This one's a, a long drive, a slightly diagonal across the river and downstream. Very shallow crossing, very safe, no obstacles to worry about. There's quite a bit of a drive between some of the river crossings as you, as you drive down uh, the Wanagata itself. Passes through some really nice country, quite open um, woodland forest. Uh, really pretty uh, country, this area. Here's crossing number three. This one was fairly easy, it's just a, a diagonal crossing just above a riffle there. Uh, very shallow water, good, good uh, even rocks underneath. Crossing number four. Uh, wasn't too far from the crossing number three. Um, this one I had a bit of a look at it because it did appear fairly deep um, on first glances but uh, once we got across it it didn't, it wasn't that deep. It probably went to the top of the tyres I reckon. And uh, the exit's actually a little bit hard to pick when you're at, uh, just looking downstream but uh, once you're in the water it's fairly easy to see where you need to come out. Crossing number five, same same as the other crossings, nothing nothing to worry about here, fairly straightforward, um, reasonably shallow water. Just coming up to the final uh, crossing, number six. Uh, this one, uh, once again, just a little bit of a lock there to navigate around to the left. Um, very shallow exit, looked a little bit tricky from the other side, but um, we just went up the left hand side and there was, there was no issue at all. It's just been dug out a little bit there. There's a bit of a drive uh, once you get through the final crossing um, before you get to the sort of climb where it gets, starts to get a bit serious. Um, basically the track just runs around um, on the lower contours and finds its way up to the spur. As you start climbing you can see the track becomes fairly rocky. Uh, it's good traction. Here's the first climb, so you know we, suddenly the grade gets very, very steep. Um, 
I've heard a lot about how steep this track is. Allegedly, it's one of the steepest in the high country. I thought, right, we've got to go and have a look at this, but it's very, very steep, um, certainly, but it's definitely not in my top 10. Um, the traction's really good. It's got a really a good, solid, firm base. There's some loose rock, um, as you can see there. Um, fair bit of look, looks like almost bedrock poking through the, the base of the track. Um, just got to be a bit careful. Pick your lines on this track. There are some, it is very steep and there's no tomorrow if you make the wrong choice and if you're not, your car's not well set up. There's always the potential for um, a bit of mischief, um, especially if you get your car sideways. So you just need to be very careful. But the good thing is there's lots of different options as far as taking lines up on this track. So it's not so, as bad as what it sounds. After the first uh, climb up the spur, the track grade actually um, peters out a little bit and you sort of head along a little bit of a, an easy drive. Then it starts to, um, the grade starts to increase again, get into some rocky country. Um, just have to be careful, I think, going up this track. Um, those rocks can be fairly sharp and I certainly noticed on my mud tyres there were a few uh, chunks taken out and I suspect that slipping uh, wheels on some of those rough rocks particularly where the, the solid bedrock such as this coming up if you're going to be spinning your tyres more than likely you're going to start shredding them so this is a track I think you need just to take it nice and slow try to keep the wheels planted on the ground if you can One of the features of driving up this uh, spur is the vegetation is absolutely superb. Um, I was uh, really impressed with all the plants. It's just such a pretty drive to um, head along. I was um, probably a bit focused on the vegetation for most of the trip and, and, the, and the, the track, but uh, once you look through the, the veg, there's some amazing views to be seen as well. Um, here's a section uh, about halfway up. You can see there's a few the, the centre of the line, the centre of the track's been a bit washed out. You need to be very careful. There's a couple of little rock step ups here. Um, looks easy in the M80 series because it's got fairly decent tyres and we're spoilt with the suspension. It just climbs over. But you know, I think any any four wheel driver get up here quite easily, just taking your time and um, going nice and slow. Keep it in low range. Okay, we've probably gone through the second steep section now. You can see the road, the track flattens out again before starting to climb. We, um, about two thirds of the way up, we started to get a bit of a whiff of dust in the in front of us and um, discovered we had come across another four wheel drive who was um, just up in front of us. So I just backed off a little bit, um, didn't want to sort of put pressure him. I don't think he was going too quick, really, because we came up on him really quite fast, but um, you can see him up there. But I slowed down, but he must have got a look at me because he took off like a rabbit which is not a good thing. I think everyone just needs to drive at their own pace. So we pulled right back and let him have his own, uh, try to let him take his own time and pick his lines. We came, the next slope we came to was really, really steep and we decided we'd just sit there for probably 45 seconds and let this guy in front of us just find his way up, clear the track and um, give us a bit of a bit of an easy clear run up the track rather than being up his bum and pushing him. 
It's a little bit uh, hard to see how steep this track is just from the footage, but you can see from the angle of those trees it's it's pretty steep and it goes straight up. So um, it is a bit of a challenge, but um, certainly I think uh, in the wet this would be a bit of fun. You'd get a bit of slippage I reckon going up. Here's the final climb just coming up the um, to the junction with the Wombat Range track. A couple of four drives up here having a bit of a banter. So the Hearn Spur track takes around about 35 to 45 minutes to um, get up. There's about six river crossings plus the one at the end of the Warnagata Valley. Look, it's, it is a very steep track, no doubt about that. And given how steep it is and... I would say it's uh, the high end of medium to, to a difficult track rating, so you just need to be very careful.